Hello friends, I am Dr. V. Mohan, Chairman of Dr. Mohan's Diabetes Specialties Center. I am doing a series of videos on healthy eating to control diabetes. In my earlier two videos, I talked about the basic principles of diabetic diet. I introduced to you the concept of a healthy plate. We talked about the 50 25 25 principle and in case you missed my first or the second video just click on the link above and you can see my earlier videos let's now go into a little more depth about what i was talking about in the first two videos in this video the focus is going to be on protein something which is very important but missing in the indian diet protein Many people have the misconception that it's only athletes or those who go to work out in a gym who need to build their muscle, they have to take extra protein. Well, that may be true partly if you want to be a muscle builder or you want to be a Mr. India or Mr. of your state, you might need to take tons and tons of protein. But the fact is that every human being needs sufficient protein and it's been shown time and again that we as Indians lack sufficient protein. It is estimated that a good healthy diet, not only for people with diabetes, but for everyone, should contain at least 15 to 20%, if not more, of protein. But if you look at the average for Indians, it hardly comes to 8 to 10%, particularly in the vegetarians. So how do we increase the protein intake of our diet and what benefit does it have? Many studies have shown that Indians who consume too much of carbohydrate, in the region of 75, 80% in some places, and at the very least, even 65 to 70% of carbohydrate. Did you know that South Asia in general and India in particular is the highest consumer of carbohydrate in the whole world? It is no surprise then that this carbohydrate which gets converted into glucose ultimately is actually one of the causes of the rising epidemic of type 2 diabetes in our country. So if you make a small change and replace part of that carbohydrate, the excess carbohydrate that you're taking with very good quality protein, it will have a huge impact both in the prevention as well as in the control of type 2 diabetes. Now in the 50-25-25 principle I mentioned that 25% of your plate or your thali in which you put your food should be reserved for protein. And I'll give you a simple tip how to remember this. Every time you sit down to have a meal, be it breakfast, lunch or dinner, look for the protein. Because unless you look for the protein, it's very easy to reach out for some more extra carbs. Now, how do you look for protein and how do you select your protein in the diet? Let me start with the non-vegetarians first, because that's very easy. If you're a non-vegetarian and you take egg or fish or chicken, poultry, or even meat, although red meat, we don't encourage very much. You can have it occasionally, but eggs, fish and chicken are very good. They are called as lean meat and you can have quite a large quantity. In fact, the advantage of protein is not only that it helps you to build muscle and when you build muscle, your insulin action is improved and thereby you can easily get your sugar under very good control. So that is the first reason why you should take. In older people, when you take more protein, it prevents you from falling. You know that a fall leading to a fracture is one of the commonest causes of death in very elderly people. So if you start increasing your protein intake, you'll find that your muscles are stronger and you don't fall. Now, when you add protein, it also automatically gives you fiber and therefore your fiber content also goes up. So increasing a protein has many advantages for those with diabetes. I mentioned about the foods, the non-vegetarian foods which give you protein. 
what about the vegetarians now for vegetarians it is a little bit more difficult to get good quality protein and unless you really make an effort you will end up with getting very little protein however there are a lot of vegetarian foods as well which contain good quality protein for example milk and milk products dairy yogurt then all the legumes and pulses that you can eat like bengal gram green gram black gram rajma mushroom all these are very high in protein of course you get some protein from your cereals as well rice and wheat but the problem with the vegetarian protein is that rice or wheat the cereals have deficiency of one amino acid similarly the pulses the legumes and pulses that you take they have deficiency of another amino acid but the good news is that what is deficient in the grains the cereals is excess in the legumes and what is deficient in the legumes is excess in the grains so when you eat them together for example if you have rice and dals and let's say bengal gram or green gram you mix it and eat that deficiency is covered up and you get first class protein just like a non vegetarian so it's a myth to say that all vegetarians have to be protein deficient and therefore if you are a vegetarian look for the protein and with every meal see that 25% of your plate is actually kept for protein if you do this you will find that automatically your control of diabetes improves in those who have marginal diabetes because you are cutting down on the carbohydrate quantity you may be able to lose some weight and thereby even achieve remission of diabetes in a very important recent publication from the icmr india diabetes study we showed using mathematical modeling that even if you slightly reduce the carbohydrate from the 60 65% to about 50% or 55% you are able to reduce the carbohydrate and increase the protein content to about 20% and the rest of it if you are able to take it from healthy fats and we'll talk about fats in the next video then you will be able to even reverse diabetes in those who have early onset type 2 diabetes in others you will be able to get your sugar levels under good control your hba1c will improve and thereby you can prevent all the complications of diabetes so next time when you sit down to have your meal whether it's breakfast lunch or dinner remember to have protein in your diet and one last secret that i'll tell you is that when you take protein in your meal your satiety improves which means that you don't feel hungry for a long time if you take only carbohydrate two hours later it's all digested and gone and you're feeling more and more hungry and you feel like eating more suppose you have a let's say an egg white omelet or an omelet itself the full egg itself in the morning you'll find that even at lunch time let's say at 12:30 1 1:30 you still don't feel hungry because that protein gives you that satiety for a much longer period than carbohydrate so the benefits of adding protein are numerous and if your doctor recommends that you are not getting enough protein and you need additional protein there are a lot of additional protein supplements also that you can take so remember the value of proteins in the control of diabetes thank you